good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. Welcome to our channel. Father Mbaka's adoration ground in Enugu has been converted to a chaplaincy by the Catholic Church. Reverend Father Mbaka apparently in a bid to protect his image and insulate the church from political controversies, the Enugu Catholic Diocese has banned the controversial spiritual director, Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Nigeria, Reverend Father Ejike Mbaka, from commenting on, politi on partisan politics. The church announced the ban in a letter his bishop, Most Reverend Kalistus Onaga, conveyed to him after his penance. The letter also announced the conversion of the Adoration Ministry to chaplaincy to allow the diocese direct control of the Adoration Ministry. By this development, Mbaka will no longer solely oversee the activities of the ministry as its spiritual director, with a source explaining that making the ministry a chaplaincy brings it under the control of the Enugu Diocese and gives the bishop the power to appoint a chaplain to oversee its operations. The bishop further stated that he can appoint any ministerial officer to assist the chaplains to oversee the pastoral activities of the ministry. There shall be no partisan politics, either by way of active engagement or by prophetic naming of candidates for position of power. These directives were announced following Mbaka's resumption to church activities of the ministry, which was suspended following his one month private retreat. Following the desecration of the Catholic Cathedral Church allegedly by Mbaka supporters, he had announced the immediate shutdown of all activities in the ministry till June 10, 2021. Mbaka's supporters had attacked the bishop's court and the Sisan Cathedral, destroying valuables, property, and desecrating the holy altar of the church. But Mbaka, in a release he personally signed, said he would be embarking on a private prayer retreat for penance and atonement. But Mbaka thereafter apologized to the Catholic Church, the Enugu, and his bishop for the desecration of the church. This is the situation with um, Reverend Father Eji Kembaka and the Adoration Ministry in Enugu. Well, it has been a while. We know Father Mbaka that um, he gives out uh, prophecies, announcements, proclamations, and most time he bothers on politics with many politicians trooping to the Adoration Ground just when they are looking for votes. And after the vote, some of them never attend there anymore. Well, this is the Catholic Church. Mbaka has demonstrated in the past that he is a, an obedient servant of the Catholic Church, that the Catholic Church decides. And that is what is uh, different uh, between the Catholic Church in Nigeria and, um, if we could say, Pentecostal churches, because the Catholic Church is still under, is very hierarchical. You have to report to your bishop. The bishop has a final say over priests in the parish, in his uh, diocese. And in this case, Bishop Onaga has uh, wielded the big stick to bring uh, um, Baka back into the fold and to do what he thinks is right. Whether he can um, prophesy on political positions, those who will be uh, elected in positions, who is best for the position and the rest of it, I will let you to decide. I don't want to impose my opinion on anyone. So what we do is that we invite you to the comment section. Tell us what you think about this ban, this change on um, Bacchus Adoration Ministry in Enugu, uh, which is called Amen. And then put your comments and let us uh, discuss it on the comment section. We I invite you to subscribe to our channel if you like what we bring to you. 
please kindly click on the notification bell so that uh, once we release any information we will be the first to see that give us a thumbs up if you like the news we bring to you thanks for coming by to our channel wish you a happy weekend and remain blessed